It first debuted as a manga series in 1989, featuring a counter-cyber terrorist organization, a strong female protagonist, and deep philosophical themes. Welcome to the Animation Cave, and this is Ghost in the Shell. Yes, sir. What up, YouTube? I'm Gil Rivera, and thank you for watching this video. Ghost in the Shell is an anime that will be on my Mount Rushmore of best anime ever. I'm mainly focusing on the 1995 anime in this video, so let's jump right into it. Ghost in the Shell was created by Masamune Shiro. Masamune is a Japanese cartoonist and mangaka who also illustrated cult classics like Black Magic, Appleseed, Dominion, and New Dominion Tank Police. The manga was first serialized in manga magazine Young Magazine Zokan Kaizo Kuban from 1988 to 1991. In the post-singularity future, when technological enhancements and robotics are a way of life, Section 9 takes care of the jobs that are too difficult for the police. They employ hackers, sharpshooters, detectives, and cyborgs, all in an effort to thwart cyber criminals and their plans to attack the innocent. The story follows the fictional counter-cyber terrorist organization Public Security Section 9. The team is led by Field Commander and Lead Investigator Major Matako Kusanagi, a state-of-the-art cyborg with a full-body prosthetic to house her cyber brain. The rest of the team consists of Chief Aramaki, a strict chief but fiercely loyal to the members of Section 9. He often puts his own career on the line to ensure the survival of the rest of his team. Bato, the second in command under the Major. Recruited from the Rangers, he served in the military with Matako and Ishikawa. He has robotic eyes, arms, and legs. He sometimes takes point for the Major on serious occasions. Togusa, a lead investigator and the only entirely human member of Section 9. He only has cybernetic memory upgrades and communication brain implants like all other members. And he rocks an awesome mullet. <laughs> Ishikawa, a covert intelligence, information warfare, and technology specialist. Ishikawa is a master at recognizing data manipulation and is highly skilled at hacking. He served with the Major and Bato in South America when they were with the Ground Self-Defense Forces. Saito, Section 9's Tactical Sniper Specialist. Saito was recruited by the Major while they were on opposite sides. He can handle any automatic firearm with deadly accuracy and precision. His left arm is cybernetic and his left eye was replaced with the Hawkeye, a prosthetic eye that interfaces with satellites for incredible accuracy. Borma, Section 9's explosive weapons and bomb disposal specialist. He provides support for the rest of the unit and is the team's resident cyber viral warfare expert. He is a jack of all trades and has optical eye implants similar to Bato. Paz, the deep cover infiltration specialist in Section 9. 
He is the backup jack of all trades for the field agents and a chain smoker. His weapon of choice is a switchblade. The manga was so popular that an animated theatrical feature film was released in 1995. It was a Japanese-British international co-production produced by Kodansha, Bandai Visual, and Manga Entertainment with the animation provided by Production IG and directed by Mamoru Oshii. With the film's release in the UK and the US, very soon after its Japanese debut, the franchise would achieve worldwide acclaim. The film is set in the fictional city of Newport, Japan in the year 2029. The film follows Section 9 as they hunt a mysterious hacker known as the Puppet Master. The narrative incorporates philosophical themes that focus on self-identity in a technologically advanced world. The film also follows Bato, Tosaga, and Ichikawa. Saito, Borma, and Paz are only mentioned in passing. The production quality of Ghost in the Shell truly set the bar for anime films for years to come. Production IG fires on all cylinders with this truly remarkable film. Its animation is top notch with vivid colors and striking visuals that were created through a combination of traditional cell animation and CGI animation. The music composed by Kenji Kawe includes vocals in classical Japanese language, which give the film an almost eerie atmosphere. Upon its release, Ghost in the Shell received positive reviews with critics praising its narrative, visuals, and musical score. The film was initially considered a box office failure before developing a cult following on home video. It has since grown in esteem and is now considered to be one of the best anime and science fiction films of all time. Ghost in the Shell influenced some prominent filmmakers. The Warshawskis, creator of The Matrix and its sequels, took several concepts from the anime, including the Matrix Digital Rain, which was inspired by the opening credits of Ghost in the Shell, and the way characters access the Matrix. Other parallels have been drawn to James Cameron's Avatar, Steven Spielberg's AI, Artificial Intelligence, and Jonathan Mostow's Surrogates. Bungie's 2001 third-person action game, Oni, draws substantial inspiration from Ghost in the Shell's settings and characters. Ghost in the Shell also influenced video games such as the Metal Gear Solid series and Cyberpunk 2077. The film was released on VHS in 1996 through Manga Entertainment. 
and on DVD in 1998 by Polygram Video. Manga Entertainment released a Blu-ray in 2009. And finally, Lionsgate re-released the film on Blu-ray in 2020. And it's also been released on UHD 4K. Ghost in the Shell has become a huge multimedia franchise, including several anime films, toys, video games, and a series of spin-offs in both print and broadcast media. On a personal note, this is one of my all-time favorite anime. The art style really inspired me, and the pacing is great. The entire world is enthralling. The audio and the visuals of the film will mesmerize your senses and take you on a thought-provoking journey. The concepts, character designs, cell shade coloring, and visual storytelling really impacted my artwork and helped me evolve my art in a different direction. It's an all-time favorite of mine, and I give it the highest recommendation possible to cartoon and anime fans. Now, let's talk about the live-action film. Ghost in the Shell was adapted into a live-action film by Paramount Pictures in 2017. It was directed by Rupert Sanders and stars Scarlett Johansson as the major. Takeshi Kitano as Chief Aramaki. and Palau Azbek as Bato. It was a moderate box office success with a worldwide gross of $169.8 million against a $110 million budget, despite receiving negative reviews from the critics. I enjoyed the film. Scarlett Johansson was great as the major. Despite the controversy due to her casting, I believe she gave a good performance as the character depicted in the 1995 anime. And I like seeing the origin of Bato's cybernetic eyes. Now, there are some problems with the film in my opinion. For those of us who love the manga and the anime, it's loosely based on the source material. The Puppet Master is replaced with Kuze. He loosely resembles the Puppet Master and basically serves the same purpose. So why not just keep the Puppet Master character then? And the end battle with the spider tank is changed. I personally didn't like the changes made, but having said that, I enjoyed the film and appreciate it for what it is. So, if you haven't already, check it out. You might enjoy it. This was our retrospective of Ghost in the Shell. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of my latest retrospectives and art videos. Also, hit the thumbs up button. It's a small click for you. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps us out. So the next video is going to be a behind the scenes art video showing you the continued production of my comic book, The Night Stalker. So I hope you join us and thank you for watching. If you like the content and want to help spread the word, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, if you want to help support the channel, 
check out our Teespring stores. There are links in the description where you can find merchandise that you might like.